Hey, what's up, it's Meezy, and you already saw the title of the video, so you already know what we're talking about today. Your girl is going to Berkeley. Okay, I don't know why I said it like that. I felt like it gave it some flavor, so apologies in advance. But yes, I am going to Berkeley. Um, I am going to get my master's in data science. So if you've been wondering like why I gained a sudden interest in Python, um, that's why I've been prepping myself to get ready to be very Python heavy, be doing a lot of Python coding, a lot of Python modules, all that jazz. Um, for the past, I guess it's been a month and a half now, I've been talking about how I've always been really interested in AI and so I've done more work to learn about it. Um, and so that comes with data science and machine learning and deep learning and all those kinds of things. So yes, I am so excited to finally be able to tell y'all because this process of me deciding to go to Berkeley started a long time ago. Like the consideration of even going to grad school started in late January slash February. And then I had to do my applications in March, and then I had to wait to know if I got in, and then, yeah. Uh, I found out that I got in about maybe a month ago, two months ago, a month and a half, six weeks ago probably. Um, and then school is gonna start at the end of August. So I'm very excited. I would say I'm not excited for the schoolwork, but I think this will be interesting. I think it's gonna be a good time. Okay, so if you know me in real life, you're probably like, this girl has always said that she hated school. She was never gonna go back to school. I think I might have even said that on this channel before. I did not have a good time with my professors in undergrad. Now, as far as the college experience goes, 100% recommend, love it, would do it again, minus the classes. Like, college is just fun in itself. But as far as like, I had no support when I was in undergrad. I had professors that just clearly did not like me. Like out of probably the 15 different professors I had, only two of them, only one of them, like I knew that they liked me and one of them, like he was nice to everybody. So it wasn't like, there was never any beef there. And the other ones, like they were kind of just there. And then there was a handful that legitimately had it out for me. They did not like me for whatever reason. So I was a little traumatized, I guess, just from that whole process. Um, but now I'm older and I'm a different person, you know, I've grown and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm going back. Also, I have a job that will help me pay for it. So that's another reason why I'm still going back because if it was all on me, I, I'd probably still spend the money. Um, so yeah. So if you don't know much about Berkeley, Berkeley is one of the top schools for computer science in the United States. It's located in Berkeley, California, which is very close to San Francisco in the heart of technology, Silicon Valley. So all the big companies will go there to recruit and a lot of very, uh, I'll call them important, important people have gone to UC Berkeley, Tom from MySpace, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, um, one of the guys that invented PowerPoint, CEOs of Google, Intel, the guy who invented Sun Microsystems, um, the, one of the first female video game people. I mean, go look at the notable alumni um, and we have a lot of them to thank, to thank, to thank for the technologies that we use today. So uh, imagine my surprise when I got that congratulations email um, that I have the chance to be a Berkeley notable alumni. Honestly, it's still very hard to believe that I'm doing this for a lot of reasons that we'll get into later. But um, yeah, that's the story on Berkeley if you don't know much about the school. So you might be wondering like, okay, so if this AI thing, this AI interest only came in the last few months, how did she decide that she wanted to go to Berkeley? Da, da, da. Or how did she decide she wants to get a degree in data science? So when I was a senior in college, I had two friends, one that went to USC and one that went to Ohio State. And they were also engineers. USC, Daisy, who went to USC, um, she's majoring in civil engineering and my friend Neil, who went to Ohio State, was majoring in mechanical engineering. And both of them were doing post-grad degrees. So Daisy was doing a master's degree 
I think her degree is in green energy. Don't kill me if you watch this, I can't remember. It's something, something about the environment, okay? So she was doing that as a fifth year, fifth year master's and Neil was going for his PhD in something that has to do with mechanical engineering and electronics at Berkeley. I never get it right because it's just very high level and I just can't, I, I can't remember. I just, that's, that's all I know. So both of y'all, please don't kill me if y'all watch this video. But anyways, both of them were doing their grad degrees and I was like, maybe I should do one too. Now mind you, I went to Texas Tech University. I was basically coasting by in my college classes. So honestly, it wasn't really in the cards for me, but I said, if my friends are doing it, I'm gonna do it too. It's just, that's what we're doing. Our crew is going to grad school, cool. But I, I kept doing my classes my senior year and I was like, you know what? Absolutely not, I will not stay here another moment. But before I had that thought, um, I had decided that if I was gonna do grad school, I was going to do it for artificial intelligence. And a little bit of the reason why I chose that was silly because I was like, these, these men in this industry, they're gonna create robots that are gonna take over the world, harm us all, and we're all gonna die from a robot invasion. And it was silly back then, but it, it, was, it was part of my reasoning, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but uh, a small part of it, I knew it was silly because I really just felt like there's nobody in the room who's stopping to think if we should. You know, yes we can, but should we? And so I felt like I wanted to be that person. And in general, there was no undergrad course at my school that focused on AI. You could take a course that had some AI focus in it, but it was a graduate level course. And I actually signed up for the class, went on the first day, he went through, the, the professor went through the syllabus and all of that. I said, oh no baby, this is not for me. Dropped it and picked up a different course, okay? Cause I just wasn't gonna do that in my undergrad. So, and so from that I knew, I was like, okay, there hasn't been a lot of research here. Like this is a field where I can probably make a huge difference. And so I, I wanted to do that. Had a bad time at school. I was like, no, went to industry. And, uh, but the feeling of wanting to learn more about AI and work with AI and make advancements in the field has never left my mind. And so I thought now is as good a time as any because the earth, the ocean's on fire, uh, everywhere is flooding, you know, a global climate crisis and there's a pandemic. So what better time to enroll in grad school? Um, so yeah, here I am going to Berkeley. How did I choose Berkeley specifically? So I did research on the schools with the best artificial intelligence programs. And there was three schools that I settled on um, once I did that research. So I looked up a bunch of lists of best artificial intelligence programs in the country, in the US. And I, I kept an eye on the top 10. All of the top 10s had three schools in them. USC, University of Southern California, Berkeley, UC Berkeley, and the University of Texas. Now, the University of Texas was always at number 10, but they were in the top 10. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna let my Red Raider hate go, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for UT. Um, and USC, I wanted to do their program, but they didn't offer the artificial intelligence track online, so I was like, no. So going online was a big part of my decision because, oh yeah, I'm going online. <laughs> but going to school online was a big part of my decision because I don't know where I'm moving next. I mean, I was in DC two years ago and I was supposed to move to Seattle, but I'm still in Dallas because of the pandemic. And now I'm not gonna move to Seattle and now I wanna move to Austin. So I'm just like all over the place and I need my school to be able to come with me. I don't wanna be tied down to a city. And I definitely do not wanna be tied down to a Berkeley, California where, $1,700 a month would probably rent you a closet. So that that is, uh, that's the big part of going online for me. But back to how I chose the school. So I did a lot of research, looked up a lot of lists of best schools, blah, blah, blah. Looked into the schools to see what they actually offer. Um, I even looked at the courses that they offer because I'm, I'm making sure that I can do this data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence stuff because a lot of people a lot of schools will offer a degree in data science and they just make you go through hella statistics math and a few programming classes and try to call it data science no nor I need to make sure that y'all know 
what y'all are talking about or that y'all just offering a real program. From all that research, I started, I was like, okay, what are applications do? What does it take to apply? A big thing for me was I was not taking the GRE. So any school that required tests was just off the chopping block. Uh, other schools that I wanted to go to, but for many reasons I couldn't, University of Washington, they don't offer online courses. Um, MIT doesn't offer anything online. Harvard, I actually did not look at them, uh, surprisingly, but they do have an online degree, so if you're interested in that, you know, go take a peek. Um, where else? I did look at SMU, Southern Methodist University. It didn't really seem like they were talking about anything, just seemed very expensive for no reason. Um, and there was a lot of other schools. I had a whole spreadsheet of schools um, and I had a whole list of criteria that I wanted. And so I filled out that spreadsheet, took a look at the spreadsheet and picked my top three. So my top three were USC, UT, and UC Berkeley. USC was knocked out because I couldn't do the program that I wanted to online. Um, and so I applied to UT and to Berkeley and I did not get accepted to UT, but I did get into Berkeley. I really don't understand how that works. And the only thing that I can think of as to why they did not accept me is because I went to Texas Tech. Like I just, I can't understand how I would get into UC Berkeley and not University of Texas, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah. I think that's everything that I wanted to tell y'all. Um, I can make a specific video on uh, the application process and all of that if anybody is interested. But yeah, oh, the name of the per program is the Berkeley MIDS program, Masters in Data Science. So if you wanna look into it, I'll leave links to it below. Um, join my Discord. And there's a lot of people in there now and we've actually been having some conversations, so I'm excited. Um, the Discord has a Python channel, a machine learning channel, and an off-topic channel so far, but the more things I cover on the channel, the more channels that I'll add in the Discord. I'll also be doing a lot of live study sessions between Discord and this YouTube channel, so if you wanna keep up with me on, t on the day-to-day, -day, make sure you join that Discord. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and make sure you subscribe to this channel so I can keep making cool videos, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!